taking a break from Zelda to talk about Demon Slayer again. <laughs> um... Yeah, so another Demon Slayer episode came out today. I woke up really late, so I got, like, really late around actually watching the episode. But that's fine, because I still got to enjoy the episode for what it was. And it was kind of weird. Uh, I kind of wish they'd focus more on Mu Muichiro in the episode, because that's what the second half of the episode focuses on. Because in the first half, the only thing that really notably happens is that Tanjiro's sword goes from being, back being from red to back to black, so... The power-up boost that he got from uh, the assistance of Nezuko and no longer is there anymore. And so we're going to have to wait and see what's going to happen the next time that Tanjiro turns his sword back. Is it going to be because of his own sheer power or because of Nezuko's help again? Who knows what's actually going to end up happening because of that. I would also like to point out that Genya in the episode, his injuries are completely healed. And I don't know if that's intentional or that was a mistake. So... Take that for how you will, I'm pretty sure that was intentional, because, like I mentioned before in the previous episode last week, uh, he ha he's, like, in his demonification mode, so he can regenerate, uh, just not, like, a lost, like, head or something, like, if his head gets chopped off, it's just, like, it's game over for him, uh, you know, which I'm fine with, I think I mentioned last week how I didn't want him to die, Although it would have been interesting if he dies here. I didn't want him to die yet because we still don't really know much more about him other than his motivation as to why he's a part of the Demon Slayer core to begin with. It's because he wants to apologize for his brother for something that he what, that he did and he said when he was younger. So, yeah. But the main thing that ends up happening in the first half of the episode with Tanjiro and those immediately around him being Nezuko and uh, Genya. And I'm pretty sure that... Uh, Fucking what's her name? I forgot what it was. <laughs> Mitsuri, yeah. I'm pretty sure that Mitsuri is going to end up showing up pretty soon because in the opening we see that uh, Murichiro gets like a new sword because of Hagane Zuka. We actually see that in the episode. And Mitsuri is going to end up uh, helping out Tanjiro because now neither of them have the strength and power to fight this new combined version of the emotion demons. The anger demon, for, from what we can see, it forci forcibly takes the other emotion demons and fuses with them and now created the hatred demon, um, which I think is really cool, you know, especially because in the episode uh, and how they p portrayed the hatred demon. The hatred demon is so freaking powerful and so imposing and intimidating that Genya and Tanjiro and even Nezuko are just stunned completely stunned and they can barely move at all it takes everything within Tanjiro to be able to just lift his sword up and try to talk shit about him because the whole time this hatred demon's trying to say that like oh their villains were like preying on the weak and the weak being Hantengu's like actual real body and the fact that it's like all tiny and now it's like all curled up within like this CGI like wood or rock I'm gonna assume it's like a rock um uh, like, like rock dragons that the hatred demon is now controlling. Uh, and then Tanjiro, of course, is going to say the obvious thing. Like, I can smell the fact that you've killed, like, hundreds of people. So the fact that you're trying to say that I'm the villain, that I'm the fiend, is entirely hypocritical. Which it is. You know, that doesn't make any fucking sense at all. Because he's a, de because he's a demon, and he's killed multiple fucking people and then the whole time i'm actually kind of laughing at it too because the demon's like did i kill anyone in your family did i kill people that you know and tanjiro's like no well then why does it matter to you stupid and it's like you still kill people like it's still the basic human thing to want to go and help other people and that's basically tanjiro's whole argument and then like i said the next half of the episode uh, we go back to Gyoko and Muichiro's fight, and Muichiro is completely stunned within, like, this water vessel, this water prison, and he can't get out. There's just nothing that he can do. Uh, he uses up all of his, you know, all the air in his lungs to be able to try to do a technique to break out of the prison, but he can't. Uh, and then he sees, like, this vision of Tanjiro, and we've seen before in previous episodes that what Tanjiro said reminded him of someone in the past, and Tanjiro now, it's insinuated that Tanjiro reminded him of someone before in his past that he's trying to remember, but he can't really remember at the very moment at that time. We cut the uh, Hagane Zuka and he's working on the sword, and he's really infatuated with it, and his only sole focus is to restore it back to his glory, even as he's getting attacked by Gyoko, which I thought was really cool. Um... Uh, 
we go back to Muichiro though, and I forget what the little kid's name is, but he ends up showing up and he's trying to like break him out of the prison. Uh, meanwhile, like one of the Gyoko's like pot demons shows up and actually stabs him in the solar plexus, which you know if that isn't treated like basically immediately he's gonna end up dying. But even as the kid is like dying from his wound, he uses whatever strength he has left to blow some air bubbles into the water prison for Murichiro to suck up, so that way he can actually use a breathing technique. And in that moment, Murichiro actually ends up remembering who he's mistaking Tanjiro for, and that's his father. And he mainly remembers him because they actually have similar eyes. Um, and for what they had once said before in the past. Even though in the episode he's actually mistaking a lot of what Tanjiro is saying for something that his father was actually saying. And there was only one thing that reminded him of his father, and we already know what that was. Uh, which I thought was interesting, you know, we got to see more of, you know, Murichiro's character, which I thought was kind of necessary because he kind of was absent for a couple of episodes. And the next episode, it seems like we're going to see more about him, which I'm totally up for because, you know, like I said before, we don't really know anything about him. And de depending on what they decide to do in the episode or the season, they're going to probably kill off one of the Hashiras, so who knows what's actually going to end up happening with that because so far we're on a... Uh, one to one even scale, you know, we have one Hashiro who ended up dying, which was Rengoku. Uh, Uzui ended up living, and now we have two Hashira, and I feel like one of them is going to die. I don't know who, and I don't know when, but one of them is probably going to. Uh, I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and see about that, I guess. But the next episode is gonna be focusing more on Murichiro and his backstory, and, you know, who his father was, and what the relationship he had with him, and probably how he ended up getting this uh amnesia and why he forgot all of his memories and yeah it's gonna be interesting to see like what actually ended up happening and what ended up causing him to end up joining the demon slayer Corps, and you know why the master of the demon slayer Corps, you know sent him out to go and try to regain his memories so i don't know you know yeah, <laughs> i don't know what's gonna end up happening but i'm really excited i really like the episode even if not a whole lot really ended up happening you know not a whole lot ended up happening because all it really was is like Tanjiro tried to slash the, the head of the of Hantengu, uh, and it didn't end up happening, you know. And then Yoko starts to try to talk shit, and then Murichiro gets out of the prison. You know, not a whole lot of action ended up happening, but a lot of you know character related stuff ended up happening, which is some of the most exciting stuff that a series can do. And I really enjoy that, and we're gonna see more of that next week. And I'm ready. I'm really, I'm really excited for it. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video <laughs> because there's not really a whole lot to talk about. I really liked it though. Uh, and I, you know, I really like episodes like these, and that's, you know, a lot of what the first, like, beginning portion of the season focused on, which was introducing characters and showing off characters, but we never really got to see a whole lot of their, like, character, uh, depths and backstory, and seeing more of that as it continues is really interesting. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it, you know, it was a good episode, I really, I really, really liked it, but obviously, like, the more, the more exciting episodes are the ones that I ended up enjoying more, because... The action in Demon Slayer is typically very, very interesting to watch because it's just really well animated. Youthful Toybo always continues to do an amazing job. And I guess I should also point out the, the CGI on the dragon like head things. It's like people are probably going to complain about it. If I go on Twitter right now, people are probably already complaining about it. It doesn't look bad, guys. It like, could look way, way worse. Uh, and, you know, I think the way that Youthful Toybo ends up actually using it, I think it ends up looking... It ends up looking fine, you know, it ends up looking, you know, passable. It ends up looking, you know, it looks fun, right? It looks fun to watch, and I think that's, like, the whole purpose of it, you know, regardless of the fact that it's CG and 2D animation or traditional 2D animation, it still looks good, and I don't fucking care. Anyways, <laughs> if you like the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, I'm going to go back to playing Zelda. I'll see you guys next one. I'm out. Peace.